Hey guys, Fee Freak 59 as you can see by the task video guys, we'd have the next episode of Train to Neymar, and it's episode number four, and as you can see in the background, we're starting to trade off with some silvers, some gold rares from the BPL, and also some informs, as you can see at the end, and we picked up some nice deals you will see in this episode. As you can see, this Jordi Amat to start off with, we got him for 350, and we're listing him up for 800 coins. That's an easy doubling of our coins that we just made there. Then we have this Davis, he's only going for like 650 in this episode, but at the time that I'm, you know, trading now, because I was trying to trade with him yesterday, and he was going for like 1,600, so that's quite a big um, price, like, you know, hype. So basically, I think someone price fixed him. Then we have these Suzokos and these Skirtles, and these are very good players to trade with if you're just starting off with trading, and you want to make some quick and easy profits, because you can basically pick them up in a matter of like two or three minutes and list them up. And they'll usually go within like 10 minutes if you list them for the cheapest buy now on the market. And sometimes they even go within like 2 minutes. Um, it just depends if people are looking to buy those players. But normally, people are looking to get some Suzokos and Skirtles for their cheap BPL teams. And that's actually a technique that I'm going to get on to soon. Like if you buy a lot of them, which is called mass bidding te technique. So basically, I might do a video on that for my Trading for Dummies series because I'm sort of getting into... Uh, more of trading tips rather than the team of the week investing in that series But as you can see these two informs that we had in the background the old rich was an absolute fantastic deal Also this Thiago Neves we should be able to make at least 3,000 coins on him after tax Then we have this read over here and this is the unassigned item that we had We picked it up on a buy now and we got him for 12,750 And then we have our daily gift for the next day and we managed to pick up 500 coins Which is not too bad at all because it means that basically we have less time to trade to get to Neymar and it helps out because we might be able to, you know, strike a deal with that extra 500 coins. Then as you can see, the players that I came back the next day, they all have sold, um, apart from a few at the end. As you can see, most of them were the informs and the South Korean player, the key. Um, I think I actually spent a bit too much on him, but he eventually did sell, and that's nice to see because every time you sell a player, like, it may take like two or three goes, but you should be looking to sell them as their first price that you, you know, wanted to sell them for. Or if you can't, you know, just lower their price a little bit. It doesn't really hurt because you can spend that coin um, on something else and you could make back that loss that you didn't, like, get from that um, trading deal. Then we have this Digne, as you can see, we listed it up. Then we have this Ashley Cold Anchor Chemistry Style for 3,900. Probably not the best of deals. We're not going to really make too much after tax. Then we have Ramirez with the cam position, actually, in this. I think someone converted him from the CDM, so that sort of pushed up his price a bit. And we got the Catalyst Chemistry Style on him, and we listed him up for 11,500. We should be able to make like 1,000 coins profit after tax. Then we tried to do this new method. I saw um, some YouTuber on the Xbox Stripe, so I thought I might try it out on the PlayStation 3 and see if it works. And it sort of did pretty well, as you can see, these Bentekes. We picked them up for 2,000 and 2,600. The Hawk one, I think that's why it was a little bit more expensive, because people. Um, wanted to get the better chemistry style on him, but I'm not sure why anyone would play someone like Benteke or Pato at center mid. Maybe Pato, but I wouldn't really use Benteke because he's got absolutely terrible passing, and he's not really a player that's gonna you know track back and help your defense. So maybe they just wanted him um, for some hybrid reasons. That could be one because I remember I used Drogba cam and that was probably not the best position for him but I still did. Then we have this Miyachi as you can see and we got him for 4,500. My friend the Lollipopper actually told me about this deal so um, shout out to him for that and then basically we got this Kelvin guy. Um, some guy was actually trying to price fix him about two or three days ago on the PlayStation and I sort of made a bit of profit from what he was doing. As you can see that first one we listed up for 75,000. Um, 75,000 what am I talking about? 72,500. I actually got rid of the um, what would you call it, the clip by accident where I uh, recorded me, you know, deleting them out of my trade pile and showing you how much they sold for, but they did sell for the price that I listed them up for. Then we're just going along and I was looking at the Kelvins because their prices were rising a lot because there was some guy, um, he was trying to price fix them like to like 150k, but he ended up failing, but in the time span that he was doing it, a lot of cheap ones went up and I think he kept buying them because he was trying to raise the price and he didn't want any, you know, cheaper ones going on the market. As you can see, we got that one for like 72,000 and we listed up for 78,500 and it has sold. And that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed and have a nice day. Bye.